So I've set myself a bit of a challenge this year. Um, I'm in Malden in Essex. Um, I live just outside of the town. And <clears throat> I've now decided this year I will be doing all my Christmas shopping in as many independent shops as possible. Um, it's more of a, an experiment to myself. Um, I am a small business owner myself and I understand how difficult it can be for uh, other small local businesses. So this year I thought I'd try and blog this as well as do all my Christmas shopping in as many independent shops or at least all the shops on Mold in Molden. So on the high street down some of the back streets. Um, I will admit there is one shop that I do want to visit which is actually in Bickenacre um, and in the video I'll explain as to why I want to go there um, but again it is an independent shop. The trouble with modern day um, big places like supermarkets etc their CEOs are living with multiple homes they have luxury cars Great, but what do they do for it? Probably naff all. And you look at small businesses today, and I don't, I don't even have a car. Um, I, all I have is vans. Um, I don't get, I don't get the luxuries that the CEOs of the bigger companies do. And I don't feel, personally, I don't feel down about it. Um, I just think, all right, maybe they have been lucky. But also, at the end of the day, why are we paying someone to sit on their backside in an office, maybe up the city, um, for doing naff all? So, this video is to show that you can do Christmas shopping via small businesses, independent shops, and the profits will go into the manager, you know, the owner's pocket, not some CEO's luxury yacht out in the Bahamas or somewhere. So... I hope you enjoy this video. It's it's going to be a challenge. I've never done this before. Um, I'll try and get a few shops to have a quick chat on the video. Um, so let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. That's a good start. Park the car, Butt Lane Car Park, and uh, Morgan Council have um, closed off all the uh, money points, so it is free parking. Um, they've offered it on Saturday the 14th, 21st and even Tuesday the 24th of December so it's quite encouraging um, first bit of positiveness for uh, a very wet miserable Molden wonderful September we met I can tell by a smile you hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while yeah, you were impressed, couldn't leave me alone Text me every time that you pick up the phone And I had control in the driver's seat But my hands are slipping off the wheel Now the tables have turned, now I'm up all night I'm picturing you, acting like a fool I'm on the other side I survived Molden. Um, absolutely amazed by um, quality of products being sold in Molden. Um, a lot of the independent shops, um, some absolutely great products. Um, I tried to visit as many as I could. Um, some of them I just kept my head down um, and sort of secretly shopped. Um, some of the others I, you know, commented, recognised me. Um, I was stopped in the street. A few times saying you're the mad idiot um, trying to buy independent and just do Christmas in Molden. So overall, it was it was blinding. Um, I went today with no budget. Uh, I also had no clue what to buy people. It was a case of go and browse, 
take advice from the shopkeepers themselves. It was great to see the encouragement um, of the shopkeepers and also some of the shopkeepers sort of, I bought some items and they were saying, if you go and see so-and-so and so-and-so -so shop, they will, they'll help you, Matt, you know, they'll, they'll help you as well. So it was nice to see that you guys and all the different shopkeepers are all interactive and um, helping each other out. It was great. It was almost like there's a little little community there, which was great to hear and see. Uh, I, I did take a trip out to Bicken Acre to White Elm Nursery, um, where there is a lady who runs a business called... Let me... Uh, Hold this up, which is the Bra Consultancy. Now, this shop um, I like quite a lot, not because it's full of women's underwear, but <clears throat> this one's for the guys. When it comes to birthdays and Christmas, the missus will generally get underwear from me. Um, nothing kinky, but I can never remember her size. Now, the great thing with this shop is. I took my good lady there. She was measured. Um, she felt very comfortable with the lady measuring her. And she's kept um, my partner on record. And the great thing with this is once your size is on record and you don't, you know, shrink or enlarge or anything like that, it stays on a record. So you guys can then go in there, say your partner's name, and she goes, yeah, I know who that is. She's size so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so, and she's had this bra, that bra, that sort of underwear. So she can help you guys shop. I find it much easier. It's very relaxing to the point of a, a bloke walking in a woman's underwear shop. I know a lot of guys feel a bit embarrassed by that. But this, no. The girls and the owner, fantastic. Now, I know it's out of moulding. And part of my thing was... I have to stay in Molden, but the bra consultancy are moving, and what is great is they are moving to the high street in Molden. Um, 31st of January, they are moving and they're going to Edwards Walk. So, if for you ladies, if you need to be measured, I highly recommend it. it sounds strange coming from a guy, um, but it, it's a great little business. Um, She's not an, a, a massively old business, but she's constantly progressing. Um, we've recommended a few other people to go there, and they've all been very pleased. So, conclusion from today, I actually managed it. I've got no idea how much I spent, but it's not, for me, it's not about the money. Today was purely about going out there and actually showing that I don't need the internet. Um, I also don't need the huge chains like Argos and and such like. What I, because I didn't go in thinking right, I need to get that particular item and then be disappointed. I went just went with the flow. Um, I've got no idea on women's fashion. Um, I popped into Willow and Fox, and wow, fantastic lady. If you, if you ladies haven't been in there, go. Matt time, she offered me a cup of tea. Unreal. Um, great lady, bought a good few bits in there. Will quite happily walk in there again um, when it comes to my partner's birthday and see if I can get something else in there as well. Um, so hats off to all you guys that did stop, talk to me. Help me out a little bit because I am just... A run-of-the-mill guy who has no clue what to buy people um, the help was was great um, even I popped into Wenlocks and spoke to a lady in there as soon as I walked in the door she welcomed me um, I explained what I was doing um, and I said to her you know if I happily buy something I'll quite happily mention you on my blog so you've seen the on the video there you've seen that I've, I've been in there I can't reveal too much of what I've bought because my partner is actually on the same group as this. Um, she already knows I've been to the bra shop because I've dropped myself in that one. Um, but she doesn't know anywhere else where I've been. I have instructed her not to watch this video, but we'll see. So, just want to say thank you to all the businesses in Malden um, for helping me today. Um, you're all doing a fantastic job. 
And for all you guys that are not business owners but are shoppers, go support your high street. Um, amazing amount of little shops. Um, great people, great little community. And I know what I'm doing next Christmas. I'll be in Mold High Street. So I hope you found this quite a good little, little interesting video. So thanks for watching. If you see me about, do stop, say hello. I'm quite a friendly guy. And if you want your grass cut, I'll do it for you. Cheers for watching. Tell you.